All right, well, we are going to wait for one minute. Okay. Time's up. How'd you do? You did good? I saw you watching the timer. I saw you watching it. You did good? How did you do? You just did cross eyes. Is waiting easy? Always? It depends on what you're waiting for. I'm with you on that. I am with you on that. What's that, Max? You're, yeah, yeah. So, was it difficult? <laughs> yeah, you're good at that. Or is it hard to sit and be quiet? I think you guys did really good. I don't know that Carter did so well at that. <laughs> but I didn't tell you what you were waiting for. Did that make it even harder? Yep. <laughs> you know what I heard? I heard something really interesting. I heard that when you become 70 years old, 70, do we have any 10 year olds here? 10, 10, 10, your lifetime, seven, 70 years old, you will have spent three years, oops, that's the timer again. You will have spent three years of your life waiting. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe it. Like, we wait at stoplights, we wait in lines at grocery stores. If you've ever been to Disneyland, imagine how long you wait to go on a ride. That's a lot of waiting. What else do you wait for? Yep. Getting in, line for Getting in line for Burger King. What do you wait for? <laughs> Christmas, all right. Mo okay, you wait for Monday because you love school. I love that. What about you? You wait for food. Do you wait for birthdays? Yes, do you count down the days? Yeah, how do you count down days? How do you count while you're waiting? Yep, Paige? You, you count up or down? Yeah, how, yeah? Calendars. calendars, that's a good way. Have you ever done one of those chain calendars where you like pull a chain off e each day? Oh my goodness, stop, okay. <laughs> Have you, so do, you, do we, we count with calendars? Do you know, um, yes. You have a fact calendar, that helps. So you learn while you're waiting, that's awesome. Have a Lego you used to have a Lego calendar, that's great. Do you know that this, this over here is a way that we count while we're waiting for Christmas? Do you know, do you, yeah. It's called an Advent wreath, yeah. So we are in the church season of Advent and there are four weeks until Christmas. And how many candles do you see over there? Five, but one's white. I wonder why that is. What do you think? Yes, the last Sunday is Christmas Eve, and that's the white candle, right? So we have four blue candles for four weeks, and so we lit one today. That means how many more weeks until Christmas? Three. You guys are so good. What are we waiting for, though? Yes. Jesus' birth, yes, you're so great, yep. You're waiting to decorate the Christmas tree, yes. I'm waiting to have my Christmas tree go back to Christmas. You're waiting to have your Christmas tree go back to a Christmas tree. Uh, you, keep, <laughs> you keep your tree up all year, okay, okay. So we, you decorate for each holiday. Oh, I love that. Okay. So um, when we think about the true meaning of Christmas, we can think about Jesus' love. 
Um, and what we wait for, we can think about giving instead of receiving, and we can enjoy all of the beautiful gifts that we receive, like um, music here at church, um, these beautiful decorations, but we can also think about ways that we can give Jesus love during this season. What does that look like? What is it? Helping people? Yeah. What do you think? Giving people what? Giving people who need things, things to eat. Yep. People who are hungry, things to eat. Yeah. In drink. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're going to go talk more about Advent, and we're going to create one of these fancy little wreaths that you can take home with you to help you count down till Christmas, till the birth of Jesus at home. All right? Will you pray with me? Dear God, as we spend time in this waiting place, we look forward to great joy. To the celebration of Jesus' birth, and to the day when he comes again. Amen. All right, who's ready to go to kids' church?